When last we saw Jonathan Rumi as Jesus, he was walking on the water. Now in theaters, we get to see where his sandals take him next. Normally I focus on only movies, but with such a hit series and a theatrical release, here I am with a spoiler-free review of the three and a half hour epic film version of the first three episodes of The Chosen season four. Jesus of Nazareth, his fame is rapidly spreading across the region due to his radical teaching and many miracles. But even as he makes positive change, Jesus must deal with the loss of loved ones, the turmoil amongst his disciples, and the hatred brewing within the Jewish religious elite, not to mention the ever encroaching Roman occupation. Even as the danger rises, Jesus and his disciples value the message they share over the increasing threats. But this decision will most certainly end in pain and heartache. I am already a huge fan of The Chosen. I have watched with passion, pun intended, the first three seasons, many episodes multiple times. For my family now, it's the show we put on in the background as we do dishes and other chores. I love it. That being said, as a movie going experience, The Chosen is unique. On one hand, I. I think anyone can enjoy this film, whether you've seen the series or not, even if you don't know the Bible. But if you are familiar with the Bible, it allows you to understand the gravity of certain scenes and moments. And not just the Gospels, this season, just like seasons before, uses flashbacks of Old Testament scripture that directly correspond to Jesus' story. On the other hand, I think those that are caught up on the series will enjoy a deeper emotional response to these three new episodes. The time we've spent getting to know the characters and our investment in their individual journeys better prepares us for the emotional highs and lows they will experience. But if you're going into this blind, another pun, the film literally starts with a brief previously on segment that will help bring you up to speed. Along with the compelling and unmeasurably important story, The Chosen is gorgeously shot, most of which takes place on a 1,200-acre Salvation Army camp in Texas. Specifically, their evening scenes and candlelit sets create a beautiful first-century aesthetic. There's one prolonged scene of characters walking and talking through a field of wildflowers. I could almost feel the sun on my shoulders and smell the fragrant field. It hit each of my five senses. As expected, the story dives head-on into meaningful and significant topics such as grief, personal responsibility, forgiveness, and God's ultimate plan. In one specific scene, two characters are mourning, but their conversation turns humorous, and as they share a laugh together, one character feels guilt for finding joy amidst the sadness. It's a small but rather poignant interaction. In fact, the film provides quite a few laughs, many from fan favorite Barnaby. But my favorite running gag is dealing with Simon when Jesus changes his name to Peter, which means The Rock. Well, periodically for the rest of the film, people get his name wrong, causing confusion and frustration. It's a pretty clever take on a significant moment in scripture. A couple things didn't work for me. James and John's mother, Salome, seems a little out of character in one scene to create some convenient drama, and there was a crowd scene that wanted to be more intense and suspenseful than it actually was, but aside from some minor gripes, season four of The Chosen appears to be on track to continue the amazing trajectory of its first three seasons. If you're not familiar with the series, it's available on practically every streaming service, and it's free on its own app, and I cannot recommend it enough. Now, there are going to be people upset because The Chosen takes creative liberty in its characters and story development, but from the beginning it has always stated that this is not a substitute for scripture. And if you want to debate that, you'll probably want to talk to a theologian. Shoot, I'll give you my brother's contact info, he's a lot smarter than me. All in all, I love this film version of the first three episodes of season four. And as I film this, it appears it was number two in the box office for the weekend, earning over $6 million. The Chosen clearly isn't going away anytime soon, and I'm excited to see where it goes next, even though I'm kind of dreading it as well, because I know it's not going to go well for these characters we love. There is so much more to cover, so if you want me to do a spoiler review of The Chosen Season 4, let me know in the comments. If there's enough interest, I'll do a video diving deep into spoiler territory. Also, if you enjoyed this review, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of my future reviews. And you can watch some of my previous reviews of faith-based films by clicking one of these boxes. That's it. See you next time.